Hey everyone, this is Vincent, and today I want to talk about a feature within Substance 3D Painter, which is the Instantiate Across Texture Set. This is not a new feature at all, it has been there for many years right now, but after discussing on a Discord server recently, I noticed that many people didn't know it exists, and you are going to see that it's a bit of shame because it's extremely powerful. So if you don't know it, stick with me, and even if you know it, I would invite you to stay until the end because I'm going to show a way to use it which is extremely powerful. So let's start. So we have Matt here in Substance Ready Painter, and I have been creating really quickly this material composed of two layers, same material, I just added uh, a smart, uh, smart mask on it, which is, uh, I think this one, the one, I'm not sure exactly, not important. And uh, right now, what I'd like is to apply this uh, new uh, material on any texture set of, of, uh, of this asset. To do this, there are different ways. Uh, the most basic one is to do copy past, so, which means I can select these two layers, do Control C, and then I can go to the other uh, texture set one by one. So either by going to the texture set list here, or there is a shortcut which is Control Alt and right click on the texture set you want. And now selecting the layers, I can do Control V, and you see that it's applied. So it works but you see that it's extremely slow. So it's a lot of click, a lot of manipulation just to do this copy past. Furthermore, if I go back to the head, I go here and if I change some uh, settings, like for example, I change the style, you see that it's not applied to the other texture sets. So it's not really what I want to, to be efficient. So let's delete that. Um, another way to do is to say, let's create a smart material, for example. So once again, I can select these two. I do Control G to create a group, giving a name, wood worn. And now, if I do right click, and can create and create smart material here. And in my shelf, I will have a new one. You see that I've doing, doing, I've done it before. So if I now drag and drop on the other part, it's way faster. But once again, it's not dynamic. If I go back here, I try again to up change for example the preset it's not applied on the rest of my uh, object which is uh, no, it, uh, it's a bit uh, a shame because I want to be as efficient as possible uh, the thing is uh, smart material are really great but I would use it once once you have a base a material that you like and you want to use on other projects not the same that would be a good way to use smart uh, material. So how can I do? Well, there is a third way. So I have my group here, which is great. And instead of create a smart material, as I did, what I can do is instantiate across texture sets. When I click on it, you have the option here to say, okay, in which texture set do you want to uh, apply this, uh, this content? And by default, it will select everything but uh, the one you are currently working on. And if you do okay, now it's applied the same way on other part, but if I go to uh, the, the layers here and I do some change, like here for example, you see that now it's applied everywhere, so it's way more handy to, to work with, uh, uh, with this. Another cool stuff with that, uh, so let's get back to this, uh, this version, or maybe this one. Um, so this is maybe if you knew to uh, instantiate uh, uh, across texture set, you knew this part and it's great, you know it's useful. If you were new to this, well, now you can use it on your workflow. And there is another cool way to use it. So let's say, for example, I want to apply a logo on, uh, on my model. So I'm going to go to my texture here. Let's take whatever logo, maybe the, the official substance one. Putting it here, and for now I'm going to use just as the base color. So I can move it on my texture set, nothing new here. You can, let's place it properly. And I'm going, right now, let's imagine I want to, well, uh, uh, project it, but on the full body, not only the head. It's, it's, it's a problem because texture sets are independent. So I can change the size, something like that. This way, 
going to make a rotation because I think it's even if we don't know it's reversed. Okay, it would be better this way. Um, still have the problem. Let's spread a bit even more the projection to get something. But you see that even if I move down, it does not uh, it does not project. But now let's put that within the group which is already instantiated across texture set. And now if I move, you see that it will project everywhere on every texture set. So it's extremely great because that's something that people thought for many times that it wasn't possible unless uh, you were using UDIMS. Um, well, it's not the case. You can project, do this kind of projection with, uh, with the instantiation. And by the way, here I'm, uh, I am instantiating a group, but you don't have to, for example. Let's say I'm going to put that back on the top so it's not instantiated anymore. But here the group is, is, uh, is an instance, but you can also instance just a layer. If I do right click here, instantiate across texture set, and OK, you see that now it's everywhere. So I'm pretty sure that most of the People who are watching did not know uh, this part. Uh, tell me in the comment, I'm curious to know who knew the instantiation first and who knew this trick where you can project uh, images uh, between across different texture sets using this, uh, this technique. And once again, if you have some feedback, if you want me to cover a specific topic, just tell me in the comments. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.